All right, what's going on, everyone? It's TRL. And so, obviously, it's been somewhat of a quiet but not too quiet week since the Suns got rid of Monty Williams. There's been a lot of rumors, a lot of news that the Suns are going to be uh, interviewing a lot of people. Uh, so, real quick, I'm just going to quickly give my thoughts on the head coaching search process for the Suns so far. Um, now, basically, uh, you guys can't really see that, but according to Gambo, the Suns, well, he said he wouldn't be surprised if the Suns interviewed Doc Rivers. Now, to be honest with you, I I mean, I wouldn't be shocked either, but I don't think we're going to hire him. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Basically, if we, uh, we're going to be interviewing a lot of people, including Kevin Young, one of our assistants, who I think is a good candidate to get the coaching job as well. Um, now, real quick, I kind of I know I'm kind of late on this because I don't think it's really going to happen. And this came out pretty uh, a while ago. But uh, the Suns number one priority, and this is just a rumor for the record, is that they want to hire Ty Lu from the Clippers. Now, obviously, you guys know he's got one year left on his contract with the L.A. Clippers. So basically, if we want to get him, we're going to have to. Uh, obviously, if we want to lure him away from the Clippers, we're going to have to make a trade with the Clippers. Uh, it's kind of similar to what the Doc Rivers situation was when he went to the Clippers after leaving the Celtics. But to be honest, um, if if it comes to a point to where we have to where we're going to get Ty Lue, uh, I wouldn't take a risk on making a trade because remember, the Clippers are going to be really desperate if we do make a trade because they don't have any draft picks. They gave it all to OKC. So pretty much if we're going to have to make a trade and remember, we don't have draft picks either. We don't have any draft picks whatsoever. So if we have to make a trade, it's going to really depend on the asking price. And if I'm the Suns, I'm not risking it. I now I wouldn't mind Ty Lu, but with uh, obviously with the way how he's got a year left on his contract, we're going to have to trade something to the Clippers in order to get him. And with the situation that the Clippers are in right now, they're going to be pretty desperate if it comes to a trade. So if I'm the Suns, I'm not really going to try, but if somehow, some way they can make the asking price low. And if Ty Lue, you know, even gets permission to interview with the Suns, then we'll see what happens when it goes from there. But as of right now, if I'm the Suns, I'm looking for other candidates because there are others out there. So uh, the other candidate is Nick Nurse. Now this is the guy who I think we're going to get now. I feel like this is the best fit for us because, I mean, we saw what Nick Nurse did in Toronto. Uh, he had a superstar in Kawhi Leonard. And as far as I know, he was really able to, like, keep him healthy throughout the playoffs. That's pretty much the only playoff or the last playoff run we've seen him where he was healthy. Um, and if you put him with stars like Devin Booker and Kevin Durant, um, and, I mean, who knows? He was able – I know Kyle Lowry was pretty young when he was still in Toronto, but – if we get Chris Paul back or if Nick Nurse wants Chris Paul back, we can see what he does with him. Um, but as far as it goes with Nick Nurse, I feel like this is the guy we should really be trying to get. But at the same time, it's it really depends on what, you know, Matt Ishby is trying to do. Like the rumor is Ty Lue is our number one priority right now. And we're trying to lure him away from the Clippers. But if to, to be honest with you guys, if, if I'm the Suns, I'm really trying to get Nick Nurse at this point. I mean, he... He was able to, you know, carry the Raptors to a title with, you know, Kawhi Leonard leading the team and with his injury history. Um, you know, who who knows what he can do with Devin Booker and Kevin Durant? All I know is it would probably be nothing but good. Now, I'm not saying Ty Lue would be, like, good with us either or, like, bad with those guys, but uh, I just I, – I really feel like Nick Nurse is the guy we should be trying to get. Now, obviously, the other one, uh, Mike Budenholzer, I mean, I – as far as I know, the Suns aren't trying to get him right now. Uh, now, yeah, yeah, it even says right here, the, the Suns aren't really trying to pursue him right now. But if it comes down to a point of where there's not really uh, that many options. Now, also, some news broke out recently that Nick Nurse is also meeting with Phoenix. So we'll see what goes there. I also heard Nick Nurse is going to be meeting with Philadelphia and Milwaukee, I think. So... We'll see what happens when it goes from there. But basically, Mike Boonholzer, I mean, he's an NBA champion as well. Um, now, obviously, with 
the way how he was able to lead the Bucks, he makes really good adjustments. So, I mean, and that was the issue with the Phoenix Suns, especially with Monty Williams. He didn't make the right adjustments. He didn't make the right, you know, he he stuck with it all for the first half, made adjustments in the second half, and then they always played better. That's why, for the most part, the Suns were a second-half team last year. But obviously, in the you know, it didn't really matter at the end. But uh, if we were to get Mike Boonholzer as our coach, which I don't see that happening, but if it does, I wouldn't mind it. He knows how to make adjustments. I'm honestly surprised he got fired in the first place because despite Giannis being hurt or whatever Milwaukee was going through in that first round, the Miami Heat are just that good of a team. So it doesn't matter what seed there are. They're showing it right now. I mean, they, they're they most likely going to be going to the finals as we speak. So um, to be honest, I, I'm still surprised that he's even available right now. Like, that's the thing, too. The Suns have so many options. Like, you got Nick Nurse, you got... I mean, if we try to uh, get Ty Lue away from the Clippers, we'll see what happens there. But you got Nick Nurse, Mike Boonholzer, uh, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant, and a bunch of other players have been praising Kevin Young, uh, one of our assistant coaches. So, And there's a bunch of other assistants out there that you could even try to get. Uh, but, I mean, for this specific offseason, there's just so many options out there. Now, there are quite a few teams I don't have a head coach right now. So, uh, for as far as the Suns go, they really – they're really going to have to, you know, try to get a brand new head coach as fast as they can. And especially if it's the coach that they want. So, like I said, I feel like Nick Nurse is going to be the guy that we get. I feel like it's the guy that we should be trying to get right now. But then again, we'll see what happens. I don't really know what Matt Ishby is thinking. So, and if we get Kevin Young too, if we hire him as our head coach, I wouldn't mind that either. He's getting praise from a lot of the players, which is obviously what we really need. Uh, because obviously with Monty Williams, you had guys like DeAndre Aiden not getting along with him, et cetera. But we don't really know that whole story. But uh, And plus, I'm going to be making a video soon on possible trade options for DeAndre Aiden. This video is just about what I think of the head coaching search so far and who I think we should be trying to get. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what, you, uh, what your guys' thoughts are. What head coach do you guys think we should be trying to get? What head coach do you think we're going to get? But with that being said, guys, have a great rest of your day. And I'm gone.